Hey guys, Davison here. I missed you so much that I'm going to bash you in the face with a pillow. In case you didn't notice, I was gone for the last week because I went to VidCon in Los Angeles and that's where a lot of YouTube creators go to meet and learn more about the online video industry. And while I was gone, YouTube changed a bunch of crap. So it's now becoming tradition that every year YouTube releases its new features around the time of VidCon. And one of the things they happen to do is launch something called Creator Studio. Facepalm. Stabbing heart. <laughs> Seppuku. Bleh. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, if you create for this platform, you're going to understand the pain that I'm going through. Because the moment you get comfortable on YouTube, something else changes. And sometimes the changes they make are like intermediary changes. So they don't get to the point right away. So it's awkward. They like generate awkwardness because they're afraid of just overwhelming us. But then the awkwardness leads to a screwed up experience as a creator. Because really as a creator, all I want to do is upload my videos, put ads on them, and be able to talk to my audience. I don't want to do a bazillion different things. Like, I understand the need for analytics because then you know where your traffic's coming from and then you know your demographics and then you know who you're supposed to be marketing to or marketing companies that might want to align themselves with you because of this data. But other features, like, I don't even know them telling me how to improve my channel or get more subscribers. It, it just, it's just, it's not helpful to someone like me. There should be a way that I should be able to turn it off. So we're going to start with a little bit of a screen share, and I'm going to show you why I find this new creator studio awkward, okay? And, like, please tell me what you think. So we're going to screen share, and we're going to have a little bit of a youtube section for a second, and we're going to go to what happens when you log into YouTube, which is now... Okay, so you have this. I have all my lovely channels that I'm uh, subscribed to, like Marcus. You should check Marcus out. Um, but it used to be there was like a gear icon and a whole bunch of drop-down stuff that you could do to get to your video manager, which is like I said before, mainly that's what me as a YouTuber, uh, it is that I do. I go to my video manager and I check out views and I make sure everything's in order. I don't fudge around and do other things. But now you press your little icon, your little Google Plus, God damn it, Google Plus, why can't you guys give up on Google Plus, Google, why, why, because I'm going to get to this, but this is all an excuse to make us use Google Plus more frequently and more intensively, as well as a way for them to also force us to start using their business directory on Google which then is like Google Plus's yellow pages, which then would maybe turn us into paying clients because they want us to pay to promote, of course, our businesses. And the moment you have a YouTube channel that is not tied to a personal account, you're considered a business or a brand. So it's, it's just more social engineering from the social engineering. I would call them pros, but given the way that Google Plus is such a frickhead mess, I don't even know anymore if they're pros. So in, now it's been replaced with this button. So it says, you know, I have 3,000 subscribers. And I have my gear here for the advanced YouTube settings, so you never really want to click this because it doesn't, it takes you to like the overview of your account, so that's like completely useless, right? Um, instead, you have to go through this thing called Creator Studio. And um, so we see here, okay, look, we're here, but I don't give a crap about this information. And now I have to go all the way over to the left hand. And as a right-handed person, it hurts my wrist to have to, like, push my finger that way. I'm used to going, zoop, zoop. There's a reason why ads are in this area, guys, because most of us read left to right, and we also mainly are right-handed. I love you left-handers, but you are definitely in the minority of the population. So this is premium space right here. So why the fuck do I... Sorry, pardon, pardon my F-bomb. So why do I have to go over here to do everything now? What is, what is this? What is this? Oh, by the way, YouTube launched a tip jar. And so when I glanced over this uh, Creator Studio dashboard, I was like, oh, oh my God, video tips. I'm like, yes, yes. And then I was like, oh, it's just about human rights. <laughs> but I'm bump. No, human rights matter more than me getting a tip in my tip jar. But we'll get to that as well later. So now it's like this shit. So you can see how many views I've had this month in like 85, gained 85 of you. Thank you so much for, for the love. 
Um, and like, but then you like this, like, I don't give a shit what this woman is. That freaking Olga K. I don't give a fuck what she has to say. I really don't. I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna make my way. I'm gonna learn through watching my fellow creators. I mean, maybe, maybe what YouTube should have come out with instead is a video on how to use the new Creator Studio and why it's valuable instead of hearing from someone who made her channel grow when it was much, much easier to make channels grow. But kudos to her for continuing, right? It's never easy for any of us. And then you have like this like weird widget of comments, but apparently you can reorganize all these widgets, but like again, like why the frick am I gonna even have this? Like I guess I can remove it because then I check my comments elsewhere. And like but it's like I don't want to customize more stuff. I just I'm here, I'm a creator, I'm here to do business, so get to the point. This this shit is just tips. I can't get can I get rid of that? Can I? I can! Yay! Oh, I didn't realize that. See, again, they don't explain anything. So then I go to my video manager, and back to this drop-down menu, it's like you have so many, much more choice than before. And just as a person who needs to get stuff done, like, I just don't want to have a million options because then it becomes a full-time job just dealing with the gosh darn creator studio, right? Then you have to become like almost like a CMS professional. And for those of you who don't know, CMS is a content management system that a lot of big websites use so that they don't have to like massively change their, the, the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for, the architecture of their site every time they want to make a minor change to a part of the site. Um, also too, uh, it's it, like in YouTube lingo, like when you're dealing with content ID, they have a system not quite like this, but wherein they're managing their video inventory so they can decide who's in, uh, who's been uh, illegally copying and sharing their material and you manage claims that way. So I feel like they're, they're and that's a, that's a job, it's a big job, especially for someone say who works at like NBC. So I feel like I am being turned into, on top of my role as a host and creator, uh, I have to become a platform professional and I mean, it's again options can be great but then options can just also be like there's just so much shit here that like I just like I look at this look at all these options like it's just too much it's too much too much oh shit I'm showing you my revenue I'm not supposed to do that oh, oh how much money do I make how much can you see how much money how much money how much money how much money <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, so that's my angst and pain about the Creator Studio. So now we're going to just really quickly talk about the new features that are going to show up sometime soon. And so that would be that there's going to be support for 60 frames per sec second on YouTube. So you can see su super slow-mo video, super high definition. I don't know if I want you to see me in super high definition or not. Kind of like being lower res sometimes. But... um. Yeah, and there's a tip jar. So the tip jar is going to be that my viewers or people who stumble upon my videos can tip me anywhere from a dollar to five hundred dollars. And my idea is that that's because YouTube wants to proliferate Google Wallet. So it's not because I mean it sort of is because they want to reward us as creators, but it's mainly to ensure the mass adoption of Google Wallet. Pretty smart, right? Pretty smart. So I'm going to be like asking for your, no I'm not, but I am going to enable the tip jar because uh, as you know, if you saw the screen where I revealed how much money I make, uh, it's not always easy and uh, we still don't get paid a lot and yet then we have to do 10 different jobs, you know, on YouTube just to become better at this and it's, I'm glad there's this opportunity but it is certainly a very hard job and we are becoming like one person studios and it's not sustainable. So anyhow, tell me your thoughts on YouTube's Creator Studio. I have lots of videos to upload for you guys. I'm going to do a couple really good ones with my DSLR. I was also in a cash grab booth so maybe I'll show you my little cash grab video. It's just cute. I, you'll see. I won money. And um, yeah, and, and, and I'm going to make a funny video about YouTube's new tip jar. So look forward to that. My name is Davison. I make cool things. I talk about cool things and I love you, but I do not always love YouTube.